So here we have the liquid spring Ram 3500. This has got the new hybrid kit. We went for a drive before on their test track and it is amazing. The boys back home are installing the first Ram kit in Australia right now as we speak. So I can tell you after driving this a couple minutes ago, we're in for a treat. Okay guys, here we are. I'm gonna run you through the liquid spring facility here in Indiana. The full manufacturing process from the start to the finish. We're gonna give you a quick rundown. The quality control here is amazing. So to start with, this is where the steel comes in. They back the semis in through that door. Obviously these tubes here are struts. There's all different sizes because they do the RVs, the buses, all sorts of stuff. So this is step one. Steel comes in, they chop it up to length and get it over to the machine shop. Let's go have a look over there. As you can see here, the steel's come in. The steel's come in through that door and we're bringing it over here to the laser. They're gonna chop it up. They use a higher tensile strength steel to reduce weight in all their components. So thinner, stronger and lighter. Okay, next step, the press brake here behind me. So every single part has an etched part number in for traceability. Every single number, every barcode gets keyed in before they take it over the press brake for that full traceability on the QC. Okay, next up, once the steel's cut, folded, lasered, off the truck, over here in the fabrication, basically the welding bays. So every single part is self-locating or in a jig. The welders have pretty much not got to think, they just got to pull the trigger. So again, full fail safe on the fabrication here. So there's two robot welders in this facility and a bunch of manual welders as well. But the robot welders go two to three shifts, so pretty much around the clock. Right, so it's come out of the welders. Uh, there's a couple of QA inspections on the way through. Next, obviously, in the powder coat over here for all the steel products that just got welded. The QA inspector pretty much between every single line, checking welds, checking porosities, checking everything. Again, maintaining that insane level of QA. Very good machine. Uh, it's got a sub spindle and also live cooling. So we can do this part complete. Here we have the machine shop. They've got about four or five CNC mills here. Manifolds for the pumps manifolds for the uh, the volume tanks and the accumulator tanks, everything in-house. Again, maintaining the utmost level of quality. Okay, next up, we've got the strut assembly area. Again, pretty critical the way they do it. They've got to do it in stages and they go, uh, some get powder coated, some get black nitrate, uh, oxidized coating uh, for corrosion. Yeah, strut assembly over here, guys. Again, everything's laid out, detailed, so there's no operator error. Very, very good process. Next up, we've got the electrical department. This is the power module assembly uh, room. There's about six or seven guys in there. We're not gonna go in there because you know we don't want them stuffing anything up. But um, yeah, all the harnesses, everything's made here. The ECUs, the power modules, all tested. They've got special data benches with CAN signals replicating exactly what a car would to test every single harness. So we've got the hydraulic hose uh, assembly area. So every single hose in the kit is made here. Like I said, everything in this kit is made here in-house under the one roof. Every single hose is fully tested as well before it goes out. Okay, so the strut is assembled. Gets put in this machine, every single strut. So 5,000 kits a year out of this facility, every single strut, that's 20,000 struts too. Every single strut in this machine gets tested. You get a printout exactly how it should for quality control. They do a heap of tests in this machine, rod diameters, stroke lengths, all your travel distances. They fill it with oil, they purge the air out, every single strut in that machine, fully tested. How yeah, cool. Here we've got the kit assembly area, basically the pick pack ship. Uh, every single part goes into the box, has a special code, it gets scanned, they've got a tag, there's two ways of doing it, so nothing gets missed. We've had nothing missed in any of our kits in Australia, so it's pretty cool. You know, these days, it's everything's cut out, no human error. So they're set up to do 35 kits, so 35 trucks worth a day. Right now, today, today they're hitting 28 and they're already on target, or they're ahead of schedule. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Okay, that's a bit of a tour of the production facility. Everything made in-house from the steel coming in, getting chopped, getting welded, getting cut, getting folded, machined, powder coated, painted, put together. Every single strut, every single part is tested in QA thoroughly. Pretty amazing stuff. Over here in the shop, we've got three or four install bays. So these are mainly R&D bays. Uh, Currently they're installing a kit here on a 350 for a YouTuber. They're filming that. Um, over here we've got another install bay that's mainly the engineer's bay. So they're always, you've got a heap of sensors hooked up to a 350 over there. We went out for a spin yesterday and um, basically the engineers are always improving. They're out testing with uh, your sensors, accelerometers, all that sort of stuff, tweaking rate valves, 
always improving. So yeah, pretty amazing stuff. I'm gonna go grab Carl and I'm gonna have a yarn to him about longevity of these kits because I keep getting asked uh, what if, what if, what if, if we break down, if we do a hose. I'm gonna grab Carl and talk about some of the redundancies built into these liquid spring kits. Guys, here I am, Lafayette, Indiana. Made the big trip over to Liquid Spring. Uh, this is their manufacturing facility. We've got Carl here, you've all met him in other videos. Um, famous Carl, how are you buddy? Yeah, doing very well. Thanks for having us once yeah. again. Appreciate you getting out again. Yeah, 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 it's been good. So we've just, well, I just went through a big walkthrough of the facility with your production manager. Right from when the steel comes in off the truck, cut and folding, welding, you know, all the QA process, powder coating, into the strut assembly, into the electrical. It's pretty cool, it's pretty amazing. Yes, it is. All under one roof, obviously, traceability, QA. Yeah, yeah. It's all about it takes QA. takes about uh, two weeks start to finish from, uh, from when we actually start it okay. until it goes into the box. Okay, okay. About two weeks to, uh, to actually build a full kit for it. Okay, and numbers out of here, a year. Right now, we're doing about uh, 24 suspensions a day. Okay. Uh, we'll be ramping that up in the next year, year and a half to 36 to 38 a day. A day, yeah, okay. Uh, so that's uh, the production build right now. Okay, so that's We're going about 6,000 to 8,000 units. Oh, right, about a year, yeah, right, okay. Yeah. I know we spoke earlier, you got the ambulance sector, uh, the RV sector, and, and now the pickup trucks, which is still fairly new. Um, yes. That's where we're coming into it, which is good, but yeah, pickup yeah. trucks. Um, we spoke other videos about how it all works and how good it is and all that, but a few refinements late, uh, lately, the, the hybrid kit as you call it. Yeah, the hybrid, uh, constant ride frequency. So, constant ride frequency, yeah. Yeah, so what we're talking about is uh, we're adding a little bit of nitrogen in a, um, in a vessel and that gives us uh, a very smooth ride when we're empty okay. and full. So it'll actually ride the same whether you have a, a full yep. GBM or yep. uh, empty. Yep. So that's what's uh, the modifications that we've done to it. Yeah, just uh, again, constantly improving. Yeah, damping, even better again. Another damping. Uh, I know we went out yesterday, you took me on your little test loop. We had the brand new 350 Platinum stock truck and then the 350 with the new kit in it essentially. Yes. Um, it was pretty amazing. It is. Uh, it's those real bigger, big step ups and whoops that you don't even feel. You can hear them, but you don't feel them. Yeah, so, yeah you, you just, just you really got to experience it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I wanted to ask you a question. The biggest thing we get asked back home, obviously, Australia is. You know, it, it's big here, but it's very remote. Very remote, um, absolutely. You, middle of nowhere, you might not see anyone or anything for days. So the biggest question we get asked is obviously redundancies built into the kit. What if we blow a hose? What if we break a strut? What if we break an arm? You know, we don't want to be stranded, obviously, with traditional suspensions. Right. You've got a coil, there's not much that can go wrong. Yeah. Um, I, I know how good it is. We've tested, we've done the Cape York and all sorts of stuff, but you know, these guys, they might be out on corrugations for, for a week or two weeks just pounding these kits. Right. So if someone did say blow a hose, which is unlikely, it's just gonna drop down to bump stops, yeah? Drop down to bump stops, yes. Cancel the the front off, I guess, right. I guess the, the rate valves and stuff. Right. Yeah. Drop down, so you'll still be able to drive, always be able to drive. Exactly, you know, we yeah. designed the kits and you know, all the builders, as we talk to everybody that builds the trucks, make sure that you clearance everything in the, in the all the way down position. Yes. That way we have the steering we're not going to cut up all the fender wells, cut your tires, yeah. you know, if it goes all the way down. So, you yeah, know, that's one of the things we, we really stress yeah. on, yeah. Uh, on the liquid kit. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, full full clearance when I mean, you're all the way down, which is yeah, what we're maintaining. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing really that can go wrong. You're not going to be stranded. Uh, yeah. It's very unlikely. I mean, and all your years are doing it. No, yeah, you know, we've had one little, unfortunately, it was the church bus. <laughs> out and they uh they cut an inside duel down and that dually hit the hit the hose and, okay. and caused a leak and they yeah it wasn't a failure so, so the church yeah. was sitting on the side of the road for a few minutes <laughs> but uh one of the things i talk to people like uh, a lot of folks in the u.s they're always wanting to do the alaska alcan run yeah. um again a remote area you know not yeah. a lot of stuff available yeah what i tell them is if you're going to be on a long track like that that you're going to be out for weeks at a time yeah. You know, if you had some extra fluid, like a gallon of fluid, yeah, yeah. and say maybe have the, the longest hose of each side, and if you got a couple of tools, you know, change a yeah. hose, put the fluid in, you're, you're good to Absolute go. Absolute worst case if you did. Absolute worst case. You just hit a stick or something, you, yes. you're all covered. But um, no, that, that's good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm still loving it. I, I, I tow the boat, I've done the Cape. We're, we're fitting trucks, we're pretty much booked for the rest of the year with these kits, so it's good they're, they're making their way down under. But, um, handling 
amazing comfort, fatigue, all that sort of stuff. Um, that's what we're really pushing. All our trucks are very heavy. Um, right. You know, if you need to swerve, if there's kangaroos or, or deer, it's, uh, right. it's, it's safe. It's safety. There's no price on that. So, but um, no, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Um, I appreciate well, uh, you coming back over and, and taking a tour and yeah, know, it's been good. It's a little bit more of understanding and to, and to show these guys of how it's made, the, the QA, the, the traceability, all made under one roof. Again, is uh, second to none. I don't think anyone else would uh, have that level. So yeah, not many people. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Dale. Appreciate See you. See you again. Okay, behind me we've got Liquid Springs Ram 3500 R&D truck. Now. This one is still fitted out with all the sensors all over it that the engineers have been using on their test track here to really refine the rate valves and the software in this kit. Sensors at the back that are measuring body roll, some sensors at the front that are measuring vibration, uh, steering angle, your sensors, accelerometers, you name it, it's got it. It all prints out a graph and a heap of data on the computer. It's pretty amazing the amount of testing and R&D that goes into these kits.